Hello guys, I'm Pat Meteorologist Chris Dixon. Is that zoomed in far enough? And we'll go in a little bit more there. How about that? Okay, so I'm not going to edit that out because you know, no fun in doing that. Anyway, currently 77 degree difference. We have went up to 77 in the past 30 days. That has changed. That happened on March 27th. Also looks like now we're down to 23 making that gap only about 40 degrees in the past seven days. Currently it's 32, that's one of our coldest days we've had so far. Wind chill 28, feels like 26 dew point is all the way down at 22. However, from here, it is gonna be warming up. Here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way to Sunday. The high is gonna be 72 degrees. As you can see, Monday's high is only about 45. Tuesday, low's gonna be 30 by Sunday. The low is going to be all the way up to 51 so that just goes to show you guys how big the difference can be from 30 to 72 so that it will most likely be next weekend about a 30 degree gap anyway today light snow that's tapering off here in a little bit turning into clouds looks like 14 degrees has been the difference here in the past 24 hours Sunday it looks like we're gonna have clouds turning to rain and thunder and then Monday, rain and thunder possible, turning into snow. Maybe a little bit of thunder snow late at night. That would probably most likely be a rain-snow mix. Currently, the humidity is about 67%. There's not much to talk about right now. Other than, well, the snow that there is outside. We do have an update to our Instagram name, which, of course, will not erase for me with my finger. We do have an update to our Instagram name. This one is no longer IWX Learning. The main account has also been changed to weather underscore B-O-I-I -I or weather boy. Uh, that might change back. That might see, stay the way it is. But regardless, the Twitter is still at info underscore weather one. And these three bottom winters here in tropical will also stay this way. I plan to start issuing updates on IWX Tropical starting May 14th with the test update for the Eastern Pacific. May 15th, we will be talking about the Eastern Pacific and the names that we have for the season. And then I think May 30th, I, it, for 31st, I issue an update about what we're gonna be talking about the Atlantic season. Uh, June 1st, I'll kick off the Atlantic season by telling you guys the storm names for the season. And then it looks like I have exams coming up on the 6th, 7th, and 8th, so no updates after June 1st, that update, all the way until June 9th, that will probably be true for my main account as well, at least no updates 6th, 7th, and 8th. As soon as I get out of school on the 8th, I will be back in, jumping in to those tropical updates, and those will be rolling out as quick as I can bring them to you guys. Uh, which are updates every 6 hours from the National Hurricane Center. Um, three hours on a interesting day when there might be a storm that could be making landfall. So we'll just keep an eye on all that. Uh, ignore the stuff off to the right on the uh, thing. That's like from earlier. I just changed up the setup down here a little bit. Um, so now uh, we have the blackboard over here whiteboard over here we have a little bit of electrical wiring hopefully hopefully i'll be able to do tropical alerts from right here and then we continue over this way we can be doing u.s winter alerts maybe next winter and also possibly right here i have not used this chart in a while and the glare is really bad on the current position and it's small so we probably won't use this one however it might be pretty good if we have a storm like coming in from the Atlantic uh, down here and then moving up the coast or something or near the US into Bermuda affecting the Caribbean or something this season is expected to be light not really much going on uh, but that's really all we got I'll keep you guys updated we'll be back May 15th with more hurricane updates and we'll be back probably next weekend with more weather updates